Tana County has been a great concern for your government and in the launching of this county nutrition action plan demonstrates your commitment and your government's commitment to be able to have a consultative effort for all the partners in the county to take a multi-sector approach to address the problem. And therefore, we, in the launching of this action plan, it's only the beginning. The actualization or execution of the plan is the second step in which we need to move. And we calling as partners, we are committing ourselves to be part of this journey, to support the budget that has been put in place within this action plan, the different high impact intervention, nutrition interventions that have been articulated within the action plan, that we are going to respect what has been put in this action plan as we develop our own plans as partners, we'll try our level best to incorporate them in our own plans. I think at that particular moment, mine is just to appreciate you and your government for the commitment of ensuring child and adult population in the last seven years. Improving health infrastructure and systems uh, and putting a lot of emphasis on community health care, health-based care, promotion of agri-nutrition, annual increase in budgetary allocation for food security investments, comprehensive food security stakeholder coordination mechanisms to guarantee positive impacts from synergies. Provision of extensive extension services, promotion of drought, tolerant crops, conversion of innovations, technologies, and policy development, among others. Additionally, my administration has invested in pest and disease surveillance for crops and livestock, established and up and operationalized of a county cold chain facility, county veterinary drugs and equipment for delivery of animal health extension services. County veterinary laboratory, promotion of private sector linkages in the fishery sector, improvement of fishing efforts through provision of fishing gear, improved water safety by purchasing three surveillance boats, and promoting adoption of technologies to reduce post-harvest losses. It is also worthwhile to note that a lot of investments have gone into infrastructural development and human resource capital towards improving equitable access to quality and impactful health and nutritional intervention. Ladies and gentlemen, I do not want you and I to be over, over excited by this. More remains to be done to ensure direct investments in the nutrition sector by both national and county governments in partnership with all the relevant stakeholders including private sector players. It is for this reason food and nutritional security of all is one of my government's five transformative development priorities for this second term and also among the president's big four agenda. And for those just to remind you what my government five key transformative sectors that are basically related to the action plan we are launching today. It's, it's, it's food security, the entire food security sector, it's the water sector, making a lot of investments into water, um, peace building effort, the effort we are doubling up in our cross-border programs and uh, uh, with our neighbors. Um, but also, very critical, is the partnerships we are building, the strengthened partnership we are building. And I believe that uh, no other county leads in strengthening partnerships 
like Turkana County does. But critically also is working closely with the element that has been missing in all these equations, the private sector. How do we boost investments and take advantage? And this is the reason why we have collaborated a lot with IFC and the World Bank to see to it that the efforts to support the private sector to strengthen, the effort to help us be able to do, uh, to ease business, working with the private sector is enhanced. And I think a number of you may have to realize that we just launched a month and a half ago a program uh, with IFC to support the private sector of 2.5 billion shillings in Trukada West to support both hosts and refugees. And we are equally working on a similar program for the entire county.